Shopify dropshipping, one supplier, or multiple suppliers. Which one is better? You have multiple stores, but you're wondering if you should use multiple suppliers or one supplier. Today, we will look at the pros and cons of having one supplier or multiple suppliers. Welcome to today's video. My name is Mark from Speed Fulfill, and I'm here to share e-commerce tips about dropshipping from the side of the supplier. So first, we're going to look at the pros and cons of using one supplier. So if you use one supplier, the first advantage is that you have one packaging system. So what does this mean? If you have one supplier taking care of all your products and orders, that means you will eventually have one packaging system. So all the orders on your store will be packaged in one shipment. This means all your packages will be received at the same time by your customer. This is an advantage because your customer doesn't need to wait for multiple packages arriving at different times. This is perfect if you have a one product store. That means all your products will be uniform and your customer expectations will always be the same. They will know that they will be packaged with a certain brand identity about it. Another advantage of using one supplier is you can build relationships. So it is easy to build good relationship and trust with one supplier. The fact that you're using one supplier and one communication channel means you have the opportunity to talk more, communicate more, and eventually build trust with that one supplier. Building this relationship could in the future allow you to, for example, get discounts or get other offers that supply only gives to trusted clients. Now, what are the disadvantages or cons of having one supplier? So the biggest one, in my opinion, is the high risk of supply chain interrupt. So if one supplier fails to deliver or fulfill your goods, then your store is certainly going to be wrecked. Failure to fulfill your orders could happen for many different reasons that could happen along the supply chain. You could have stock issues, issues relating to processing time, issues relating to the location of the warehouse, ETC. So remember that if you use one supply, you're putting all of your trust in this one individual or company. So make sure you choose wisely. Next, we'll talk about having multiple suppliers. So having multiple suppliers applies to mainly people with multiple online stores. So in conclusion, having one supplier is, I think, ideal for those of us who are embarking on a one product store. On the flip side, what are the pros and cons of using multiple suppliers? So we will begin with advantages. Pro number one, backup. So the biggest advantage of having multiple suppliers is that you always have backup, which means you reduce the risk of failure for fulfillment by using only one supplier. This means if something unexpected happens, you always have a plan B or a plan C or a plan D. Advantage number two, competitive pricing. So with multiple suppliers, you get the ability to have competitive prices amongst your suppliers. You can get multiple quotations from the different suppliers to get different prices and choose which one is best for you. So if you have multiple suppliers, you are able to get the best product for the best cost. So remember, if a product is really, really cheap, it doesn't mean that it's always the best option to sell on your online store. Getting into point number three, product options. So automatically, if you have more suppliers, that means these suppliers have access to more products. As you source these products, you will be able to have a selection of different quality or types of products. Having a multiple supplier offers a wide range of these products and this offers you the best of options when you're going to submit products. Tip number four, multiple relationships. With different suppliers, you have the advantage of building multiple relationships with these suppliers. This is great if you have multiple stores and offer a wide variety of customer experiences. For example, if you have one supplier who offers a certain service that you like, for example, photography, you could use them for this service. You may have another supplier who may, for example, ship much faster. So if you want a product ship faster, you'd most likely go for the other supplier. So you could use this to optimize your business and always use suppliers that suit the customer experience that you would like. And of course, with the advantages, there's always disadvantage. So the first disadvantage is communicating via different channels. The fact that you have multiple suppliers means you need to communicate with multiple people at the same time. If you have two, three, or four multiple suppliers, you'd need to allocate time to talk to each one effectively, making sure that they are on the right track into what you require or what you need. As you may well know, bad communication always leads to a bad business experience. Returns, missing products, etc. Disadvantage number two, mixed packaging. So let's give an example. 
you may have this general store with different products that are sourced from different suppliers. So if a customer makes a purchase for more than one of those products, these products will be packaged by different suppliers. These multiple suppliers will most likely ship at different times. This means your customer will still receive all the goods, but they may be received at different times. So this is not the worst case because the customers will still get their products. But if you're a brand and you want to build this brand identity, then it will be very difficult for customers to understand why different products are coming at different times. Number three, separate inventory management systems. Product listing and other operations may be quite challenging if you're using multiple suppliers. So for your inventory, you have these managed by your different suppliers, and this may be very time consuming. In addition, shipping from multiple suppliers suppliers may tend to be more expensive because these suppliers will be using different shipping lines which means you won't be able to get a discount in the case that you would use one shipping line. So what's the conclusion? Well if you're testing or have multiple stores then then it may be a good idea to go with multiple suppliers because you could get different options, different qualities and you could have different products that suit the different stores that you have. But if you have a one product store for example or are trying to scale this product then you are better off going with a single supplier because you could have one communication channel or you could have a better chance of getting a good price. All in all, I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel.